Welcome back. Let me tell you a weird story. We're going to do these word problems today. And you know what? We're not going to do any word problems at all. No. We're going to do little puzzles. Puzzly poos. Puzzly poos. That's a why. That sounds more friendly than word problems, doesn't it? Anyway, I'll tell you a funny story. You're kind of a sad one. When I did, I taught at a public high school, and I noticed a lot of the kids could not do word problems. They absolutely could not do them. I thought, something's wrong. So I started asking the kids to read the word problems. I said, okay, let's read this out loud together. And what was tragic is that the kids could, many of the kids could not even read the word problems. So if you can't read a word problem, you can't do a word problem. But anyhow, I'm sure your parents have used phonics, not sight words to teach you how to read. So I'm sure you can read this. But let's do this together. Let's puzzle this out and figure out and be logical about it. So we can figure all these out. You'll, you'll get faster at these. Mike ate 5,260 French fries. Fred ate 4,270. How many more French fries did Mike eat than Fred? Well, what kind of a problem is this? It's a subtraction problem, right? Mike ate this many. Fred ate this many. How many more is 4,720, excuse me, 5,260 than that? You're going to subtract. So 5,260 minus 4720, all right, that's going to be 40, that'll be 5, all right, and there you go, that's a subtraction problem, no, not a problem, puzzly poo, okay, just making sure on that, all right, let's try another one, 207 birds attacked the algebra one-half student at 8 a.m., by 9 a.m., the number of attacking birds had increased to 942, how many birds, birds joined between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. Who cares if you're getting pecked to death? Okay. All right. So in other words, you have a couple of hundred birds, 207. All right. Then some of them uh, had increased. Something happened here. And then at the end, they had increased to 942. Well, what happened here? We added a bunch of birds, right? Okay, so how are we going to figure out how many birds were added right here based on this number and on that number? We're going to add them? No, I'm not going to add them because then you would have more birds than like 1,100, then 207 plus that many would be more than that. Okay, so we're going to have to subtract. So 942 minus 207. In other words, it's 207 plus 735. All right. There we go. That's our problem. Okay. At sunrise, many elephants were on the pond. Then 425 elephants flew away. 642 elephants remained on the pond. How many elephants were on the pond at sunrise at the very beginning? So in other words, here's a hunk of elephants on the pond. We don't know how many. Then a bunch flew away. So in other words, we got 425 of them flew away. Then we have a total of 642 standing on the little lily pads and stuff like that. How many were on the pond at sunrise? Well, to get this number, you can only you know use the numbers 425 and 642 to figure out what this number is by doing what operation? A gallbladder removal. Yes, that's it. No, it's addition is the operation. Okay, yes. So we're going to add those two numbers together, which means we get 10, uh, excuse me, 1,067 elephants were on the pond before many of them flew away. Okay. All right. Let's try one more. Fluffy the rabbit had 542 brothers and sisters. Then this year, his mother had a few more babies, like the Duggars. All right, now he has 900 65 brothers and sisters. How many babies were born to his mother this year? In other words, he has 542. All right, his mother had some more. Now he has 965. Okay, what operation are you going to have to do to figure out what this number is using the 542 and the 965? It won't be addition, right? That doesn't make any sense. If you add them both, you get like 542 plus 1400 equals doesn't work. So you're going to have to subtract those two. So you're going to get 423. Very busy year for mom. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's try the problems, uh, practice problems on page 21. Go ahead and pause it and come back when you've got A. 
Okay, let's look at A. Hundreds of knights came to the tournament. Then, well, in other words, let's just draw a picture. Hundreds of knights. Here's a bunch of them. Okay, they're very pale. Then, 420 knights went home, which means you're going to subtract them, right? 756 knights remained. We still got 756. How many knights came to the tournament? In other words, how, what was the total amount? You got some giant number, a bunch left, and you still have this. What operation are you going to use between these two numbers? You're going to add, right? You got 1176. <coughs> That's going to be your answer. Okay, pause it and try B. All right, Rita had 9,035 items in her basement, probably goats. Then she found some more items. Now, in other words, she got some added to her. Now she has 10,081 items. How much great, uh, excuse me, uh, how many items did she find? Well, what operation are you going to use to do this? Subtraction, okay? 10,000 minus 9,000 is 1,000. 81 minus 35 is 46. And there you go. And that is it. Okay. See you guys. Have a great day doing this stuff. See you next time.